thought I should be live. Uh, hi everyone. Um, I thought I would just do a live so I get this out of the way because I keep procrastinating. So it doesn't matter if there's nobody here, you can watch it later. My name's Karin, I'm a reseller, I'm also a sewer. I sell on eBay and I'm trying some other platforms at the moment as well. Um, I went on a trip to Suffolk. Hi Sam. Um, I couldn't get my go live to work on the computer so I'm doing it on my phone so does the picture and the sound are they okay can anyone tell me please um, I might miss comments because they just come up on the screen and then they go so hi David I could get it up on my iPad that's an idea where's my iPad I could get it up on my iPad think can I I don't know can I do that will it come up that I'm going live yes I am live hi Kath sorry hello everyone else sorry if I missed you there I'm trying to find myself on here so I can sorry did I lose you is it too much for my internet internet right I shall pause that. I have the chat open now. So, Scooby's Shaggy. I don't know who that is, but hello to you. Right, I'm going to start. So, I went to Suffolk to see my family at the beginning of the month, and I went to all the charity shops in Felixstowe, which there were about 10, and I went to a car boot with my dad. So, I have the charity shop stuff here in front of me. Um, this is a joke t-shirt by the way, I don't know if you can read that, it says Team Fisher, um, it's a Christmas present because um, when me and my husband do anything we say go Team Fish, <laughs> so it was like a jokey, we got one each. Um, yes, yeah, so um, it's been an absolutely glorious day, I've got loads of washing done, um, been mucking about with Macari, that's a new platform, I think it's for iPhones, only for iPhones at the moment, I've been looking into that. Uh, no fees on it and um, yeah no fees you do pay postage and Macari buy stuff off you so they've just bought a bag off me um, that I've had on for ages so I gave that a go um, yeah so let's go into the charity shop stuff so my first thing is a pair of jeans now I've never heard of these I don't know if anyone else has now is this backwards or forwards I think it might be backwards isn't it it's by a brand called crafted now if anybody knows anything about this brand could you could you let me know um, my chat doesn't seem to be working oh hi yeah uh, hi Karen yeah and um, brand called crafted and um, they were they were 199 as you can see in Bernardo's but I looked at them and they're really well made they're really nicely made so um, yeah I wasn't sure but I thought two quid worth a go they're in really lovely condition so I always sell jeans really quickly for about a tenner or more so I thought they were worth picking up I also got these which are foot glove wide fit which are if I'm correct to Marks and Spencers, I think. They're just like a brown leather Mary Jane. Got quite some, quite nice stitching detail on them. So I thought they were worth a couple of quid. I'll probably put them on for about 18. This is really weird being at this angle, but I thought with the light. Hi Maria. Yeah, with the light, I thought. So I, I'm going to steam all these tomorrow, so I'll be taking the labels off anyway. Um, I'll probably, and I've got to measure them and write them down, so I might as well just take the hangers off right now and put them in a pile. So this is a Marks and Spencer linen. I was trying to pick up some skirts, because I've, I've only been reselling since August last year. So I didn't pick up sort of summer stuff, I was just selling my stuff. So this is a 14, it says two part set, so I'm assuming there used to be a belt, although there's no belt loops. 
there's a little hook on the back here I don't I know look there's another hook there yeah possibly could have been a belt but it's just a it's just a skirt now so but I thought that was worth a go um, I always look at what they're made of can't seem to find the label in this one I think I might have just picked this up because it was marked oh there it is Marks and Spencer oh it's 55% linen so that's not bad maybe a linen mix is better because it creases less obviously there's going to be no football fans watching right now uh, that's what my husband's doing I just couldn't be bothered I'm not massive I used to be a really big Chelsea fan but not so much anymore just put in the item spec said part of a two part set oh, have you done that before then Karen never picked up Bowden before but I found a Bowden short denim skirt good size looks like a good size oh it's a 14 regular so it's quite nice with the pleat it's in good condition and I paid uh, four quid for that so a bit higher than what I normally would but I thought it was worth it as it's Bowden I haven't done any research for these yet I've still been looking at a uh, look uh, listing all my stuff that I photographed before I went away um because I never I don't know why I tell myself I'm going to list when I'm at my parents because I never do right these are just this is just cotton traders but it was like they were only two it was only two pounds and it's a long denim skirt so I I just sold a denim skirt actually yesterday hi Peter um I just sold a denim skirt today no yesterday for 20 quid a per una one so I thought cotton traders go for it I did buy two but my mum pinched the other one she paid me the money what I paid but that's not how it works is it my mum likes looking for it and I think she had a linen skirt as well this is quite nice this this was 250 never heard of this make I, I would imagine Karen you've probably come across this is this any good Sorrento denim skirts are a classic always sell yeah they always sell denim skirts denim any denim pretty much yeah so this was 250 I thought it was worth it because it's a really pretty pattern it's and it's lined it's 100% cotton so that's nice so it's nice and cool to wear in the summer so I thought that was nice um, I don't know what you call does anyone know what you call this type of stitching it goes down down it's probably got a name sort of layers I suppose it's to make it more flared I don't know there's obviously a, a name for it just having a look at how it's made I could probably make something similar anyway 250 thought it was worth a bias cut is it hello Leah I just commented on your hair Leah very nice I would kill for that much hair as you can see I'm very thin I'm blessed with my father's hair and he's bald um, yeah so this is I know a lot of people say don't pick up modern Laura Ashley Laura Ashley size 16 I paid 450 for it but I think it's really pretty like a summer dress oh it's come off the hanger it's got lovely um, lilac lilac flowers on and I just thought it was really nice I haven't tried it on it probably won't fit I'm a size I'm more size 18 at the moment it's got a nice little purple bit around the bottom of the lining because it's lined where's the label I think I did look in the shop and see what it was made from I'm sure it's cotton it feels like cotton sorry I'm not um, panelled stitching bias cut panelled not had Sorrento but style should sell it yeah that's what I thought I thought it looked nice hundred percent cotton yeah so yeah that I think that's worth 450 I don't know how much I'm going to sell it for. 20 quid maybe? I'm sure someone would pay 20 quid for that. This was a bargain because I didn't realise it's new with tags. It's got the original 
can you see that? 30 pounds. And I paid one pound on a pound row in <coughs> St Elizabeth's Hospice. I don't know if anyone else has that. It could be a local local to Felixstowe. It's um next sort of office type dress. And it's got a linen skirt and a black sort of ruched top. Quite nice. Size 14, as I said, newer tags. Thought that was definitely worth a punt. Can't go wrong for a quid, can you? Let's remove my hangers. I'm sorry if I'm croaky. My, um, my hay fever tablets have run out. I take them quite early in the morning. And I couldn't believe this was on the pound rail either. Um, size 18 regular, new with tags, M&S, wide leg linen trousers. I mean, they're lovely. They've got the original price of 29.50 on, and they've got on the pound rail. I was like, that can't be right, but I mean, there's no damage, I've checked them. There's no splits, there's no holes. They're lovely. Weiß ich nicht which is I don't know in German. I have no clue why they were there. But I bought them. Right, this is a, a, a brand that Caroline, Mrs M, was talking about. It's East. And I, I, I've had to look for East. Oh, I can't see because of the chat. Yeah, I, had a, I, had a, I was looking for East and I found this long polka dot navy dress. Um, it's lovely and light, it's crinkled sort of material, so it's good for a holiday suitcase. Um, it's 100% polyester, but I thought it was worth 550 because um, I reckon I could get 25 quid for it. I need to get that on ASAP though. Thanks everyone for joining me, you know, I didn't think anyone would uh, turn up. I just wanted to get this recording out of the way. Actually, I think the light's making me look not as pale as normal. What do you think? Although my bags are still showing. Right, this. My sister told me about this in a charity shop. It's a 50 centimetre vintage uh, Kanga and Rue. Rue's attached lovely condition because i said to my sister always look out for um oh <laughs> hi sue yes i saved you from the football i couldn't watch it my husband is a massive football fan and there's football on in my house all the time and i just couldn't couldn't watch it I'm surprised you're not watching it peter oh hi swamp picker yeah so this is a vintage kangaroo 53 centimeters i think he is and he's made by mattel um, quite rare apparently um, and I found someone sold one for 32 was it 30 anyway it wasn't in as good condition this is a lovely condition so I put it on for 33 and I've, I think I've already got a watcher or two so that's good so um, yeah my nephew had a little my sister bought it in the charity shop my nephew carried it around for a little while I don't know how he didn't make it dirty but well done Karen you got a kaching. yeah and then she said oh he's bored with it now you can have it so she gave it to me so he's on for 33 pounds so yeah and then I bought these weigh a ton This is, you can't see it right now, I did take a picture and, and um, take one off the hangers and put it on the hanger and put it on, um, don't forget to post the size. Yeah, I did, I put in the description, I've already got it listed, it's in the description. This is a chest necklace and it goes round the back and they were, the original price is 20 quid and they were selling them for 50p in New York so I bought all of them, which is four. So two quid I've got invested. I'll put them on for 9 99 each. 
hopefully might sell don't know see what happens but i can always reduce the price at 50p each i thought they're really nice actually they've got little diamond in and i've put festival bib necklace yeah i might put that in the, in the description i put chest chest link chest body necklace or something bib necklace i'll remember that i have put it in the body jewelry section so hopefully um and then i'll show you my car boot stuff now big mistake that i made at the car boot is i didn't look at stuff with my glasses on which i've told myself off for doing them before for doing that before wait for you hello lex how long do you want me to wait long wait short wait <laughs> so i've done my charity shop stuff now i'm on to the car boot stuff which is a bit less than the charity shop stuff yeah so um car boot sale sunny hot sunglasses really should have put my glasses on to look at stuff because one woman and she wanted me to pay up for stuff as well so um oh hi maria I might have said hello to you already actually maria and hi lex i need a wee haha -ha, two mins <laughs> yeah so um first thing i bought and she charged me three quid for this it's per una, like a lightweight jacket. Quite nice. Didn't wait. Didn't wait. Didn't wait. It's because I saw weight on the... Sorry. I didn't see at the time that it it's supposed to be a double-breasted jacket like that. And what the lady has done is moved the buttons. She's obviously put on a bit of beef it was a size 14 and she's she's moved the buttons over to there over one of the buttonholes how i didn't notice this i do not know also actually is it gone i did i should try it you stain no it's still there a little bit there's like a pen mark where she's marked it before she's sewn it on and sadly I can't put the buttons back. I mean, there's little spots where the buttons were, which I'm hoping I can... Um, I'll have to just mention it in the listing. I mean, the belt's with it. But I haven't got enough buttons because you need three buttons to put it back to a double-breasted. All right, I'm, this is my first item from the, from the car boot, anyway. Yeah, so I can't... I would have just put the buttons back where they were to make it double-breasted. Um, and I can't do that because I'm a button missing and they've took the bus button, spare button out from the inside. So, <sighs> sorry, I'm going on too much about buttons. Yeah, so three quid. Don't know how much I'm going to get. Not sure you, what you can do with that as it will be the wrong size, won't fit. Exactly. I might stick it on a, on a, might start it at three quid and put three quid postage on an auction, see what happens. Blooming woman, I bought three things from her. Actually, where's the cardigan? The cardigan should be there. I bought three things from her. Two of the things that I bought from her are pants. Anyway, this was an absolute bargain. Couldn't believe it. Okay, I know it's not the most desirable thing in the world, but surely someone's going to want this top and skirt. I mean, the only drawback is I think the tops are 16 and the skirts... No, the tops are 14 and the skirts are 16 or something like that. And uh, Jack there. And I said, to us, the woman was on the phone at the time, and I said, how much do you want for this? And she went, oh, 50p. I was like, okay. <laughs> Not each. 50p for both. So I haven't looked to see how much I can get, but that is ridiculous. They just smelt a bit like a shed, like they'd been in the shed, so I just gave them a wash. Hello, Bianca. And uh, you've come up lovely. So you can't go wrong for 50p. Come on now. Also, from the same lady, everything else she had was tap, but this is Peruna, size 16, really lovely polka dot. I mean, polka dots are timeless, they're lovely. It's got a lovely, would you call that a fluted sleeve? Yeah, 50p, Kath, I know, it's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, lovely fluted sleeve with little ties, 50p. I thought, lovely. If it was a little bit bigger, I'd keep that, but... um. Yeah, I think that's really lovely for 50p as well. Lovely lady. 
Also, another lovely lady that was there who'd lost a load of weight. Um, I bought some other things from her, but I bought quite from the charity shops and the car boots. I bought some wintry stuff, but I put that away in a box, so I'll probably show that another time. But I thought this was really pretty. I mean, it's only um, together. She only wanted two quid for it, and it's got a lovely, um, like a, a pink slip. And she said she'd only worn it once for a party or something. Um, what size it is? It's got nice, like mother of pearl buttons. Size 14. She was much slimmer. Yeah, it's only polyester, but I just thought it was really pretty. So yeah, I thought that was worth two quid. This is the other, the lady that sold me the dodgy jacket. Seen this. And this is why you should wear your glasses. I don't know if you can see. I didn't notice till I got home and looked at it closer. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Can anyone see the holes? Right there. We have moth holes. I did ask your advice about this, didn't I, Karen? It's a, a, a Ted Baker. And she went, oh, Ted Baker, that's worth a lot. I'm sorry, I can only come down to four for that. And I thought, well, it's 100% silk. I thought, oh, you know, I could get at least 25. So I said yes. Bloody woman. Yeah, I don't know if you can... I'm trying to show the holes. It's not really working very well. Can you see them now? Yeah, there. You can see them. Bloody moth holes. So, I said... Oh, hi. Crack of bum. <laughs> Picker. Yeah, so... I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I might stick it on 99p auction, show the holes. Because it is a really, I mean, it'd be lovely for like dressing up or something, I don't know. Or if you wore it with a cardigan, wouldn't see the holes. Moth attack, put on still but auction and clearly show holes, yeah. No idea what I could get for that, but I'm just gutted, four quid. Gutted. She seemed nice as well. You shouldn't trust people. This is very nice. This is Bowden. And still got the, I think it's been dry cleaned, still got the dry clean tag there. It's a long 100% linen coat, would be good for a wedding. Lovely polka dot lining. Um, I can't remember what size it is. What size is it? It's a 12. But she only wanted three. I knocked her down. She wanted five. No, she wanted four, and I said you'd take three. So, three. I didn't catch that, Karen. I'm behind on the chat on here. It's behind this one. What did you say? Oh, start at price paid for one auction run. Yeah, start at four quid plus postage. Yeah, I'll do that. Anyway, I thought this was worth three quid. I haven't looked at, at sold prices, but Bowden, 100% linen, nice jacket. It's got to be worth at least 20 quid I would say right had a really good sales day so far today I sold football boots that I picked up in Sunderland I've sold oh, I can't show you what I've sold because what have I sold what have I sold no that's not going to tell me yeah I've sold football boots I've sold a Jules um, tweed 100% wool really thick winter mini skirt Put the wed put wedding in title. Yes, I will. Mac and boots. <laughs> I hit Mac and boots. <laughs> I'm not a Mac'em. Yeah. Um, football boots. Oh, I might be able to see now actually because my emails have loaded. Yeah, the the tweed skirt. The um. No, I want to go back in chat because otherwise I can't see the chat. Tweed tweed um jewel skirt that I bought for four quid, I've sold for 25. Football boots that I bought for two quid, I've sold for 20. Uh, denim skirt that I got for two pound 50, sold for 20. Um, something else, which my brain. And this, 
which was the only lens that was in oh hi ads the only lens that was in my camera haul a good lens though canon oh can i bring it there we go goes to two different i bought a replacement cover because but i said that in the listing and it's got its original cap there it's also got a jessup lens cover yeah 70 quid i sold this for i did put it in the touch app and it works out that i paid two pounds 76 for this because there was 37 items in the haul that i paid 100 pound for someone is going to tell me now i paid 100 pounds 37 items does that work out at two pounds 76 i'm sure it does or is it two pound 86 someone can you work it out for me and tell me yes it was an excellent sale I cannot tell you how chuffed I was with this today. I've had loads of um, messages about my sewing machine, my Singer sewing machine, which I'm selling on Spock and Facebook Marketplace. So, fingers crossed, I get at least 150 quid for that in this weekend. Really want to get rid of that. Also in the camera items was this. It's a teeny weeny little tin. His master's voice. £2.70, thank you. Yeah, a uh, little um, his master's voice gramophone needle. It's got got eight gramophone needles in it, and um, someone sold one in better condition than this for thirty five. So I put mine on for twenty, hoping for a quick sale. So fingers crossed for that as well. I think I've got watches on that. Also, you can't really see it because I've wrapped. No, you definitely can't see it because I've wrapped it up. It's massive and it weighs a ton. Um, 4,000 piece jigsaw Waddington's vintage one, which is, um, it's called Feast Day. And someone sold one for 46, about a month back, 46 pound plus postage. And mine's in better condition. So I've put mine on for 50, what have I missed? 50 pounds plus 850 post. Oh, hello, Caroline. Welcome back from your holiday. You look like you had a fab time. Very jealous. I need a holiday. Yeah, so um, I've put that on for £50 plus £8.50 postage and I've got two watches on that already. I put that on yesterday. So fingers crossed for that. Because I am trying to do other stuff other than clothes. Although I really enjoy clothes and shoes, I'm trying to do other stuff. What can you see behind me? Can you see? Oh, you can see my my... There's my new shoe storage up there. Also, my lovely new shelf that my husband built me above my TV for all my sewing books. So, unless you want to chat amongst yourselves or ask any questions, I am done. I'm trying to think if I've got anything around me that I have listed that you haven't seen, but I can't. As I say, I bought other stuff that was winter stuff, which I've put away in a box. Uh, oh, forgot about these. No clue what to do about these. These look like kids, don't they? These were, I think I paid £2 for them. And they're uh, Arizona Jeans Company, which I think I looked here and it says part of JC Penney's. They're a size 12 slim, which means. If they're a size 12 in America, what does that make them here? A size 16. There's no way these are a 16. So I think they might be age 12. Do you think? They've got the original price of $30 on. I mean, they're really cute little denim shorts, but I really don't know what to do. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. Cute little... um pom-pom belt I don't really know what to do do you list your winter stuff in the summer I'm going to see how I get on with this 250 listings a month if I still got listings left at the end of the month then I will put winter stuff on um, sorry I'm not very good at keeping up am I it's a 16 yeah they look like an 8 they do look like an eight. So I'm not really sure. 
is Spock any good? So I sold my exercise bike on Spock on Monday within... When did I put it on? I put it on on the Sunday and I sold it on the Monday for £5 less than what I was asking. So I got I got 60 quid and I, I put 65 on. So it is good. I mean, it had a lot of views. Um, and I can't deliver stuff. I have to say pick up only. So yeah, I thought that was good. I bought two Transformer helmets off Spock when I first started reselling for 20 quid. I think it was 20 quid, yeah. And that was including getting them delivered to me, which is brilliant. And um, I sold one for 23 and one for 28, I think. Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. You know the helmets that the voice changing? I bought. Yeah, I do love clothing, but it is nice to do something different, isn't it? And also, it's good to learn about stuff. I mean, obviously, I'm going to go on a massive learning curve with all these cameras, which I shall do a separate video for those. Yeah, I'm finding it. I haven't just listed on Spock the sewing machine. I've listed on Facebook Marketplace and I think four groups that are local to me. I usually get people to collect and pay cash on Spock, yeah. Oh, thanks, Caroline. As I say, I wasn't expecting many watches. I think I've got more watches now than what I get sometimes in a weekday, but then I suppose it is bank holiday. It's very quiet in the living room. I bet they're both asleep, you know. They do that. They watch TV and they both fall asleep, Monty and Darren. Oh, yeah, thanks, Peter, for saying great sale. <laughs> Pitch losing loads of weight. <laughs> yeah, I would love to lose weight. I'm finding it, I don't know about anyone else, but I think the older I'm getting, the harder it is to lose weight. I'm finding it really hard, I just keep losing and gaining the same pound, it's ridiculous. If you weren't here at the start, this is my joke t-shirt. I'm not like an Amer you know how Americans wear this stuff and they take themselves really seriously. This was like a joke Christmas present, Team Fisher. Um, you never know what people will buy, sold two pairs of thermal gloves on the hot weekend we had. And sold a couple of wool skirts recently. Yeah, I sold jumpers recently and that wool skirt, which I just stuck on because I thought it was really nice. Um, I've got, I mean, I haven't got them listed right now, but I'll probably relist them when I've used up all, when I've used, well, I want to list as much as possible with this 250 and then see where I go. I think I'm going to have to do some major sourcing. Um, anything else or shall I go? Anything else we want to talk about? Um, does anyone know why I couldn't go live on my computer? It wouldn't let me. It wouldn't allow access to the camera. Never had that trouble before. Kept going on it and it had the correct camera selected. It had the correct microphone. And then the little camera sign came up with a cross in it. And I don't know what was going on there. Hello, number 17 person who's watching. Yeah, so I have no clue... The chat is really lagging on here. No idea, always do it on the phone. Which browser are you on? I tried it on both. I tried it on uh, Internet Explorer and I tried it on Chrome. I've got both because what I do is I have both my eBay accounts up at the same time. So I use Explorer for one and Chrome for the other. So I've got them both up when I'm printing my postage. So it's easier to go back and forth and print the postage. So I tried it on both, it wouldn't work on both. So. Sometimes you have to allow browser access to the camera. I thought I had. I just don't know why it was doing. Just wouldn't let me. Wouldn't let me start. So I just thought, oh, sod it, I'll go on my phone. But obviously, I know this isn't as good. <coughs> Has David gone? Bye, everybody. Moving on. What was the other thing I was going to ask? Has anyone else tried Macari? on Instagram if you want to join um, if you want to join Macari I've got a code I've put a little post on with a code that if you use that code you get two pound credit when you join up if you use that code so if you if you're interested they offer you a price for it now I've had a brown Forelli 
bag that I bought August last year and I'll just stick it on and see what they say and they offered me eight quid for it so I thought I'm gonna get I'm gonna take it if they want to pay eight quid for that because I worked out after fees and postage and everything on eBay I'm only gonna get a fiver anyway uh, profit so I thought well it's gonna cost me three quid to send it so that's five quid anyway so might as well sell it send it to them so that's what I'm trying I just do eBay and Spock at most screens all day. I look at screens enough. If I look at any more screens, I'm just going to lose my eyesight. Pictures. A brief description. As long as your stuff's got no damage, it's in good condition. You just literally pictures, quick description, and that's it. So I thought, oh, it's really easy to list on there. Just they want like the front and back, or if it's a bag, they want the outside and the inside. What? That's why I like eBay, as it works on its own. Yeah. I've got to go. See you all. Bye, Sam. Yes, I'm going to go. I'm waffling now. So this was just a quick, and I think I've gone on too long, haven't I, anyway? So I'm going to go now. So um, have a lovely rest of your bank holiday weekend, everyone. And if you like this, please hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And very, very soon, when I get my backside into gear, I shall do a camera haul. So see you all later and take care. Bye, everyone. See my blinds. What do I do?